As of October 9th of 2015, Hideo Kojima has left Konami. That's over 10 days ago. A lot of people have been saying their piece on it. I feel I wanted to do the same thing. Even though my videos don't really reach that much of an audience, putting my thoughts on YouTube for anyone else to hear is good enough for me. Now, I'm not going to talk about what was said in the article. Most of it you can find on GameSpot or whatever else you can go to. But most of what they said was, it led me to believe that the entire reason Kojima ended up being in such bad state with Konami was only because of the mobile games and the new CEO, etc. It was their focus on mobile gaming and shifting from consoles that eventually forced them to go their separate ways, eventually putting Kojima's team, as well as him, into working conditions that were so inadequate that it would basically force them to quit on their own. And I don't know how to feel about that. Gaming in general has devolved into this process of making an idea work as good as it could possibly work without it being completely broken. There's no passion anymore. There's rarely a game that is groundbreakingly done and such amazingly developed. There's rarely a story or a series or a game that could reach that type of excitement that I have for the things Kojima has done. But games are nowhere near that kind of quality anymore. In fact, I think they're even a tenth of what that quality was. It's more about making you pay for stuff that used to be included in the games before. And Konami was trying to capitalize on that by switching to mobile gaming. The platform where most of the money is practically earned this time around by making half-assed games that don't really add much value to the person, to, to, whoever, to whoever buys it. We're basically devolving into the way arcades used to be. Where you would just buy a game that had no point to it, just so you could just play it for a little bit and be happy. Instead of putting 25 cents, we're putting in our credit card. Gaming has changed. And to avoid any other ironic twist, I'm going to just leave it at that. Now, the interesting thing about this is that Kojima cannot do anything until December. He cannot make his own studio, he cannot make his own, his own project, he can't do basically anything. Other than maybe work at Burger King or something for a good couple months. I'm pretty sure he'll be alright. The man has made enough money over the years that he could probably survive for a good couple months. So there's no need to be worried about what he's gonna do. He, he can handle his own thing. But what would this mean for Konami? Like, hating Konami CEOs is one thing, but the people that work for them should not be taking the, the hate that Konami is getting on its own. Like, right now, most people just say Konami basically meaning everyone. When we all know that the workers that work for Konami are being treated just as badly as Kojima's was, because they're just not useful anymore. Some of them are, but only because they work on certain things that don't cost much money, apparently. But, uh, I wonder what this will mean for what Kojima will do in the future. Maybe he'll finally get a successor to Police Knots or something, like, maybe get to work with Del Toro on an original IP. You know, him leaving Konami is a good thing, no matter what. Sure, Metal Gear might be gone, but it was about time it should have ended anyway. The story is finally complete, whether we like it or not. Whether we like Phantom Pain or not. It's time to move on. Good things don't usually last forever. But, after this small grace period, we might finally start to see change. 
And it only takes one man to make good change. Unless Kojima doesn't decide to do anything after he leaves and just tries to start a business in movie making, because he's always wanted to do that, I don't know what I could say about games in the future. Either we'll continue to get more microtransactions and get more and more of the games that we like cut out in order for us to pay for them later? Or will people finally start to see the value in making games have more value for the money that we're paying? It's hard to say. But I wish Kojima and the guys at Kojima Productions and even the people that work for Konami and are not the CEOs. I wish them all the best of luck and hopefully they can move on and actually find something to be passionate about again. Because most of these guys are usually in denial. They hope for things to get better. But usually it never comes until somebody acts alone and changes things themselves. Maybe it's part of the culture that none of them really do anything. I don't know. I just wanted to share my thoughts with you a little bit. Sure, I may not have gone anywhere with it or gone into much detail, but I just wanted to say my piece and leave it at that. It's not much, though, depending on how much you think five, six minutes are. But anyway, let's see what happens. Right now, I have lost faith in the gaming industry ever since Phantom Pain came out. Because Phantom Pain to me was the last hope I had for games to be good. Games are still good, but they're not an entertainment medium anymore. They're just a product. A product that you spend money on and are mildly amused by. And that's it. There's not much more value to it. There's no hidden meaning... There's nothing secretive about it. There's no challenge. It just is. And that's it. I want to be a game designer myself. I want to create things that make people feel things that they have never even thought they could. Empathize with things that they have never thought they could ever experience. Being who they are or in the area that they live in it would seem like something completely unreachable until it happens. Maybe I'm being too vague, but Metal Gear and Kojima are what inspired me to even try my hand at game design, among a few others that deserve credit as well. But this video is not about them yet. Hopefully the future is a little bit brighter. Anyway, what do you guys think? Are you happy Kojima left? Are you sad? Are you hopeful for the future? Or did you just give up? I know a lot of people that gave up gaming recently. Because mostly gaming has not been what it should be. But I'm interested to see what you guys think. Anyway, there's still going to be more videos on the channel. I'm sorry that there's not a lot of videos coming out anymore. There's been a lot of stuff going on, and I've been a little bit slower than usual. But soon things are going to be coming out, and new games are going to be covered on the channel as well. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Besides Metal Gear, there's going to be more games being showed here. And it's going to be a good variety, because there's three different people playing them. You're going to get your action-adventure games from Phoenix. You're going to get your more scary games from Sunny. But you're going to get the more serious military games from me. As well as a few racing games. This channel has been mostly Metal Gear. But with the changes at Kadami and with the changes that are currently happening with Kojima, I feel like this should also change. So... This channel will no longer be a mostly Metal Gear channel. Mostly any of the videos you've seen 
have been mostly Metal Gear except for the really, really old videos. But besides that, it's been mostly Metal Gear. So, that's gonna change. Hopefully you guys will stick around. I know you guys really came here because of my Metal Gear videos. But hopefully you'll like the other ones too. I'm not saying you should watch them. I'm just hoping you'll give them a chance when they come out. I maybe share them around so more people can see it, but I don't like to say that that much. But anyway, I think it's time I should end this video now. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys will enjoy the videos I'll be putting out in the future, as well as the other projects I may be working on. Thank you guys for just being around. I know it hasn't been a long ride, and it hasn't ended yet, but this has given me a little bit time to reflect, you know what I mean? To see where I've gotten in the past year alone. So, hopefully you guys are going to be looking forward for the future, as well as I am. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more Otter Gaming videos.